What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. A lot of things are happening behind the scenes with SoFi and right now it is very much red. I do want to discuss why it's red versus being up 4% with other growth stocks today. Before I get into any of that though, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that, let's get right to it. So I am sure that you may or may not be a where it is earnings season and today there was a lot of banking uh, kind of earnings JP Morgan Morgan Stanley and a lot of them came in a lot lower than expected showed a lot of signs of fear even their guidance wasn't necessarily as good and optimistic as what they were seeming and when it comes down to it I know SoFi is more of an innovative company fintech things like that but on a comparison basis they are still in the banking sector so what is happening typically to one bank usually rolls over and is sought out is going to affect everyone else so this is where uh, SoFi unfortunately was getting dragged down by the market because of earnings but if you subtract that though there's a lot of good things happening to SoFi one of which is a massive amount of institutional purchasing happening behind the scenes more so in the dark pool so you can see right here all the continuation of institutions getting into SoFi so on a daily basis this seems to be now the norm a lot of institutions continuously buying SoFi for various different reasons reasons one of which is the technicals and technically behind the scenes the operational basis of SoFi is just starting to ramp up so a lot of good things are happening obviously the tail end of 2022 is going to be very much epic for SoFi so this is going to be very beneficial for investors for institutions getting in now like I always say I'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence at the end of the day but one thing as well that unfortunately because of the earnings didn't really develop as well as they should have is this so short shorts. Technically, a lot of growth stocks were going through a little bit more of a short squeeze today. So you can even see with SoFi's case, negative 1.37%, showing 5.64 million shares being returned today. That, hands down, was a very big abnormality. It hasn't been this big of a change in the last several weeks. And technically, as well, the short score is at 73.52. That's starting to rise as well. So the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening. Cost of borrow has been going up a little bit, by no means hundreds of percent but it is starting to slowly go up and one thing I just want to draw your attention to is the cost to borrow minimum typically I'm sure you guys are aware I always cite manipulation because that is often negative after hours because it does show that there is brokers out there paying people to short SoFi but as of the last couple days it hasn't been the case so definitely things are starting to turn with SoFi and like I said shorts closing out 5.64 million shares just want to quickly go back to here you can see a total of 43.84 million shares were traded today so 6 million shares being returned and overall as far as being attributed to shorts it does look like a total of 7.29 million shares were returned and 1.65 million shares being additionally shorted so this is where you get the net 5.64 and so in addition to that just want to cap it off with some technical analysis because technically this is where I feel a lot of institutions are getting in because despite us pulling back a little bit we are still looking Looking very good on the technicals and this is the saving grace right now the central boiling band so that hands down is what's been saving us over the last little bit and technically that is at five dollars and 81 cents hypothetically if we do break below that then obviously we'll be lower percent of the boiling band potentially testing that five dollar mark that is what a lot of people do not want to know or hear but it is a very real possibility and now technically that SoFi management have the ability to do a reverse split potentially that might be a little bit more concerning for individuals but let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below RSI is currently at 47 and for stochastic you can see there is still that vague deviation red line above the black showing a underlying bear sentiment happening with SoFi momentum you can tell is pretty stagnant right now so number of buyers is still for the most part maintaining itself and just want to give you some macro and micro views on this so more so on the Fibonacci 604 still remains that uh, kind of pivot point we were kind of flirting with it a little bit today but we hopefully will gain enough momentum to get over that and continue our nice upward trend that's happening and more so as well just more so on a micro view some resistance and support points six dollars 609 and 621 like I've been saying those are very tight-knit with good piece of news we can easily get over that and then on the contrary 
you can see first, second, and third support points, 579, 567, and 558. Similarly, those are very tight knit. And today we did actually break below that first support to point. So with all that though, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. I personally feel this is a great time to buy in because long term, this is gonna do a lot of great things. Short term, it's a little bit more volatile, especially with the earnings coming out. But if it does do even a 10th of what it says it's gonna do, there's gonna be a lot of big things, especially if you do factor in some of the news about SoFi, like a lot of the customers having fairly high FICO scores. So it should be a little bit more resilient to possibly a recession. So that's one thing that you just need to factor in as well. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, greatly appreciate that. And with that, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.